Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show how to reset your cursor where it's supposed to be on your Pablo Coast 13. Um, sometimes if you restart your computer enough or if your installed driver does not turn out the way it's supposed to be, your pin may be offset of where you want it to be. Like um, it'll have the jittering at the top or you know you're trying to draw over here and it'll put it all the way over here. And you know that can really influence your drawing quality and a little, little frustration there. So. I'll show you guys how to fix that. We're gonna go to our, our home page on our desktop. Just right click the screen, go to display settings, and it'll take you to your area over here. Um, depending on how many monitors you have, it'll have one or two or however many monitors you have on your computer. But I only have my regular computer monitor and then my tablet, which is the one and two here that you'll see. And it's showing on both of my displays. So you wanna go to identify, if you want to change it, and I'll bring this over here. So I see this on both of my screens. Um, sometimes if you want to alter that, you can only show on one or two, depending on what you want to see. But I like to have my multiple displays. And the scale and layout, you want to have it at 100% recommended, or else it'll look very zoomed in or zoomed out, depending on what other percentage you choose. The resolution as well. We'll want to keep it at the recommended resolution. If I do anything less, it'll be really pixelated and I do not want that and my screen gets really tiny. So we're going to just keep it at 100% recommended. Now we're going to go to our tablet settings. It'll either be in your search bar, you can type it in there, or I have mine at the bottom so I can access it easily. You'll want to go to mapping and you can see your screen in the background. Make sure it's on your full monitor um, or your um, tablet, whichever one that you chose if you have multiple uh, displays. And we don't want to rotate it, we want to keep all that the same. So we'll go to calibrate so we can have our pen where we want it to be. So click that there and then hit all of the targets. Hold the pen like you would when you're drawing. Don't hold it straight up and down. I've mentioned that before because it'll be really weird if you just hold it up straight and down because it'll put your pen in different places. So hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and save that there going into the drawing program and it looks like everything's working out fine. I'm getting my thin and light strokes and my big heavy strokes that I want. So that's fabulous. And if your pressure and your um, pen cursor is not what you want to be still, you can go into your program whatever you have. I'm using Clip Studio Paint. Go to File and Pen Pressure Settings and I like having mine in the upper left um, corner up here. It makes it really nice and smooth for me. So I'm just going to hit OK because it's exactly what I want it to be. And from here we can test our pens to make sure everything's working right. And my pen is following the cursor and the nib, so everything's great. Just do a few more tests to make sure everything looks good. And it's exactly what I want it to be. So that's about it for this video. I hope it helped. And if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to help you all out. Bye!